Today, the Marines of Company H accept the responsibilities to safeguard this proud tradition as they step forward to join this rich heritage. Ahead of them lie bright futures that will no doubt add to the proud Marine legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Private First Class Bruno is a one-year-old, full-blooded English Bulldog born in Fallbrook, California on October 22nd, 2022. He is named after the Major General Bruno Hochmuth, who at the time of his death was the first general officer killed during the Vietnam War. Major General Hochmuth was also the commanding general of the depot from November of 1963 to February of 1967. General Hochmuth was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal. The Legion of Merit with Combat V for Valor, the Navy Commendation Medal with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award, and the Purple Heart with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award. Private First Class Bruno continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots dating back to 1921 when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Quantico. Private First Class Bruno is being escorted by the Officer Communication Strategy and Operations, Corporal Sarah Crawcock. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Brad Guillory, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Eternal Father, some people wonder all their lives if they have made a difference. These Marines do not have that problem. We are intensely proud of each of them and their noble accomplishment. We are grateful for all those who have sacrificed to bring them to this day. As they go forth for flag and country, the core in glory, and for one another, send down your blessing upon them, O God, that they may come through any ordeal with dignity. Semper Fidelis. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event in the life of a Marine, their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School and Drill Instructor School. All of our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. This morning, Company H, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is First Sergeant Kenyatta E. Cohn, and the parade adjutant is Staff Sergeant Jake C. Brown.
marching units are now being called to attention at the adjutant's command. Sound adjutant's call will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 258 of the graduating Marines from Company H. Among the 258 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Edward Pina from Platoon 2169 is the company high shooter, scoring a 332 out of 350. Private Norton P. Connor from Platoon 2174 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 295 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the Company Honor Graduates Recruiter, Sergeant Shane Stephenson. Not present today, but worth recognizing as the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 234 out of 250 for platoon 2169, Sergeant Connor P. St Sutcliffe. Representing Weapons and Field Training Battalion this morning is Corporal Carson Geary. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguishes them as Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies. Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, History proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with skilled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our story legacy. Marines today remain in combat for deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere. To stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy and to honor their families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company H, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton as well as on this parade deck and have been trained as are all Marines as basic riflemen.
The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command.
The Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops. At the command, Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and Country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General James A. Ryans, the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, and the Western Recruiting Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Peter M. Rumler, the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the sunny graduation of Company H. To start, I'd like to recognize today's parade reviewing official, Master Chief Call, who's United States Navy, retired, and whose impressive biography you will hear shortly, and who most recently served as the Command Master Chief for the U.S. Fifth Fleet. Master Chief, thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's my distinct pleasure to speak to you this morning for just a few moments to express both the pride and the gratitude which I feel for this formation behind me. And that begins with you, the friends and families of these new Marines. Thank you for trusting us with your loved one. Thank you for your love and support on their journey to this day. And thank you for your continued support in their new vocation. From all of us, welcome to the Marine Corps family. And speaking of families, seated to the right of the reviewing stand are the families of the Company H staff, and no one knows more than you the time and the dedication it takes to transform a civilian into a United States Marine. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly grateful for your sacrifice and your support, which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, you join me in a round of applause for the families of Hotel Company. You know, making Marines is And at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed across this great country. These men and women work tirelessly to educate and inspire the next generation of Marines. This legion of recruiters are represented today by Sergeant Stevenson from Recruiting Station Wilson, North Carolina, who's responsible for guiding the company honor graduate, Lance Corporal Jenkins, into our Corps. And for any of you 17 to 28 year olds out here inspired by what you see, my honor recruiter has assured me he'll be available to speak to you immediately following graduation. Our other partner in the endeavor to make Marines are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion who teach the critical combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climb and place. They're represented today by Sergeant Gary, one of the top performing primary marksmanship instructors from the rifle range. Ladies and gentlemen, would you join me in a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. Well done, Marines. The last group that I'd like to recognize certainly needs no introduction, for everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. And from the moment a recruit arrives on the depot, there is a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of the United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, your Marine will never forget the name, the face, or that sweet, tender, gentle, loving voice of their drill instructors. Ladies and gentlemen, would you join me in a round of applause for the Marines who make Marines, the drill instructors! Now these Marines behind me are on average 19-year-old high school graduates, and five have college degrees. They come to us from every state and territory in the Western Recruiting Region and 12 countries around the world, having emigrated from places like Georgia, the Philippines, and Venezuela. 
And when they raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. Upon arrival here, these drill instructors forged them in the fires of martial discipline, shaping their minds and their bodies in the mold of generations of Marines who have worn our cloth. These new Marines have proved themselves worthy and capable, carrying heavy loads, long distances over rugged, mountainous terrain to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. Now you may notice some change in your new Marine. They'll stand a little taller, look a little leaner, sport an outstanding Marine Corps haircut, and moms and dads, I guarantee they know how to make their beds. But the truly important change is the one that has taken place within. For they've been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And by virtue of standing here today, they have embraced them as their own. And it's because of this, because of the journey they've undergone, because of the moral, mental, and physical development they have displayed, that I am pleased to present 258 young men who can forever proudly claim the title of United States Marine. And if you excuse me one moment, I'd like to just address the newest members of our Corps. Good morning, Marines. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We've watched you learn, strive, and grow these past months, and we are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You earned your tan belt in our martial arts program. Some of you learned to swim in water survival training, and many overcame a fear of heights on our confidence and obstacle course. You learned weapons employment to deliver precision tar fires on targets from a staggering distance of 500 yards. And in a final test, you completed the grueling crucible, where you were required to demonstrate exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, the ability to decide, act, and communicate, leadership, and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to display those same attributes in your future trials. And so having completed the most rigorous recruit training on this globe, you are ready to carry on our tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you go forward on the next leg of your journey, I implore you, be safe, be smart, and make good decisions. Remember, that Eagle Globe and Anchor pressed into the palm of your hand represents 248 years of Marines who have come before you. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you've earned. And so, on behalf of the Marines, sailors, and civilians here aboard the Marine Corps Recruit Depot, let me offer you a traditional naval party of fair winds and following seas. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis, welcome to the Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade review official, Master Chief Franklin Spike Call, United States Navy retired. He is accompanied by Sergeant Major John J. Muller, Sergeant Major Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego. Command Master Chief Call is a native of Haverville, Massachusetts, and he started his naval career in 1988 at Recruit Training Center, Orlando, Florida. He has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Senior Enlisted Leader for Expeditionary Combat Camera, Norfolk, Virginia. Command Master Chief at Gary Airborne Early Warning Squadron 117. Command Master Chief aboard USS Ronald Reagan. Command Master Chief for Carrier Strike Group 9 and Senior Enlisted Leader to the United States Naval Forces Central Command, United States 5th Fleet. 
Command Master Chief Cole retired after 36 years of honorable and dedicated military service in the United States Navy. He has been awarded the Meritorious Service Medal, the Joint Service Combination Medal, the Navy and Marine Corps Combination Medal, the Joint Service Achievement Medal, and the Navy Achievement Medal. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Command Master Chief Franklin Spike Call. in review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge. More than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Busan, Injun, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Quay City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, First Sergeant Kenyatta E. Cohn, and the Regimental Staff. San Diego, Marine Corps Group Depot, San Diego, California.
Series 2169, Lead Series Chief Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Will A. Stanley, and Platoon 2169, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Joshua T. Zemesh. Platoon 2170, Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Clint P. Curtin. Platoon 2171, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Javon A. Lilly. Regimental Color Guard is led on the march by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Emmanuel J. Juice. Series 2173, follow Series Chief Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Xavier A. Bakai and Platoon 2173, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Carlo O. Esquivel. Platoon 2174, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant John Pierre Rios. Platoon 2175, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Griffin L. Kozak. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marines Hymn. The Marines Hymn has a history dating back to 1859 and has a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you're all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marines Hymn. Will the guests please rise? Thank you. Please be seated.
The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company H prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill a fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Colby L. Wickman. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Kenyatta E. Cohn. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company H. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit or a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. will now be returned to the drill instructors.
The honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the Battalion Commander, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith, and the Battalion Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Amina T. Serike. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The honor graduate for Platoon 2169 is Private First Class James M. Bray from San Antonio, Texas. The honor graduate for Platoon 2170 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Andrew E. Jenkins from Dallas, Texas. Lance Corporal Jenkins is also recipient of the Testy Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate from Platoon 2171 is Private First Class Georgi Akajanov from Tbilisi, Georgia. The honor graduate from Platoon 2173 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Justin E. Bailey from Chicago, Illinois. The honor graduate for Platoon 2174 is Private First Class Zachary E. Taylor from Las Vegas, Nevada. And the honor graduate for Platoon 2175 is Private First Class Paul Cervantes Jr. from Kingsburg, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company H. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Today's ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, as a friendly reminder, please do not cross the parade deck and utilize the far ends. Please look around you and do not leave any trash or personal belongings and utilize all waste receptacles. Please start making your way towards the parking lot, utilize the walkway behind the bleachers and go behind the yellow curb. Your Marine has been briefed on meeting you in the parking lot behind the yellow curb. Please keep in mind.